Hello and welcome. Um, I'm just going to be going through my siege settings today because I know quite a few people have been requesting that they see my settings. I'll say right now that a lot of settings are just personal preference. So use these as like a foundation, a template, whatever you want to call it. And then sort of try out your own things as well. Try and get comfortable with what, what you want. So we'll start off with the general tab. First things first, invite only, matchmaking preferences. I keep these all on so I can find a quick game a lot quicker. If you just want to play like hostage or a specific game mode, you can turn the other two off. But I like to keep mine on. So these are preferences for training grounds. I like to keep just elimination on, turn the rest off. This used to be what we used to warm up, but now we've got team deathmatch, so it doesn't really matter. But if you want to try defending in training grounds, then turn protect hostage on and the rest off. So for weapon damage, I keep on headshot only rather than and default. Default is basically you can shoot them anywhere and headshot only pretty self-explanatory. You can only kill them by shooting them in the head. I feel like this is good to warm up. You should always be aiming for the head because it's a one shot kill. Map preferences all up to you. I like to keep mine all off except for one if I just want to play one specific map. The rest are on default pretty much. I've got display metrics off. This just displays how your game's running essentially. Connected feedback on default. It just tells you if you're getting lag or anything whilst in game cycle inside camera groups off drone off to prep i keep on semi-automatic now basically what this is if i'm on my drone during the prep phase then i will stay on my drone when the prep phase is over and goes into the action phase if i'm on a teammate's drone then it will kick me out once the action phase has started now why i've got this on semi-automatic is because if i'm on my drone and i'm watching an enemy start to do like a run out a spawn peak i like to stay on my drone since i've got the intel i can delivered to my team so this can be very vital in the first few seconds of the action phase because as you know a lot of spawn peaks happen you've got the option of automatic as well which will just kick you out regardless of whose drone you're on or manual as well which will just keep you on the drone regardless of whose drone you're on i'd recommend semi-automatic match replay i keep off just to save some fps since i record videos as well but if you want to look back at some of your matches then keep this on text chat channel i keep on all it's up to you i know some people like to just keep team chat on because all chat can be very toxic for sure but personally i just keep mine on all cross play matchmaking i keep on on it doesn't really matter because i think there's just one guy that plays stadia if you are that one guy type in the comments below hud presets custom a lot of this is personal preference compass i've kept on but on simplified there is the advanced option which will basically just show you more info current location on i recommend keeping this on if you're a new player as well because then you get to learn the names of the rooms the rest i've kept on it's just all default loadout I've kept on so you know what gadgets you have. Loadout inputs, however, I've kept off and because I know which buttons I need to press to use my gadgets and weapons. Health, I put on numbers only. The rest I've kept on, it's all default. A lot of it, again, personal preference. There is one thing here, team outlines and team icons. I'd recommend turn this off if you're getting confused. A couple of times that's happened to me is an enemy has perfectly matched the outline of a teammate behind him. So I haven't gone to shoot him because I think he's a teammate because there's an icon above him as well. So if you find that does happen to you quite a bit, I'd advise turn that off. To me, it's only happened a couple of times, so it doesn't really bother me. All default, all on. It's really, if you want this clutter on your screen, operator cards is just the massive card that displays when you die, you're spectating someone. So we'll go to audio, English, obviously. You have the option of subtitles. Master volume, I'd have on 100. Try and have it on as loud as you can. If it is too loud, then do turn it down a little bit. Music, keep on zero. I don't like the music. Maybe you like it. Maybe it's just your jam. Dialogue, I've kept on 100. Dynamic range on night mode. Very common choice for Siege players. I think default is hi-fi. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But basically what night mode does, it amplifies footsteps. So very quiet noises, it makes louder. But very loud noises is it lowers so we'll be able to hear footsteps a lot louder explosions will sound a little bit lower voice chat volume is up to you if your teammates are talking too loud in game do turn that down or mute them up to you mute on unfocused means if you tab out the game is the audio you're going to keep playing voice chat record mode keep on push to talk no one wants to hear you chatting they'll probably end up muting you because i would i'd mute you voice chat record level means the volume of your mic as you talk in game if your teammates are saying that your mic is too loud this is where you go to turn that 
that down. Voice chat record threshold basically just means basically a noise gate. If you keep this on 100, it means your mic isn't going to really pick up anything. So the lower you go, the more background they're going to hear. So we move on to display. This is just the monitor you're using. I can switch it to my second monitor. Resolution is 1920 by 1080. That's just my monitor. If you've got a bigger monitor, like a 27 inch, it's going to be a different resolution. Display mode, keep on full screen. Refresh rate, be sure to turn this up. I know a lot of people that got new monitors kept the refresh rate on 60 and was wondering why nothing had changed. This is why. Turn that refresh rate up. Refresh rate, very important in the FPS games. It determines how smooth your video is looking. Aspect ratio. I feel like the whole community is just torn on this. There's three main options when it comes to aspect ratio. you got the default 16 by 9, which is basically what you're seeing now, how things look now. You've got 16 by 10, which basically stretches it out a bit more. And the third choice is 4 by 3, which again stretches it out. You might wonder why people want to choose these other two options. It's because if your screen is stretched out, it means you're going to see a lot more. It's weird to explain, but player outlines are going to be stretched out. They're going to be wider, wide boy. But I'll show two comparisons side by side, 4 by 3, 16 by 10, just so you can see the difference basically. But default will be 16 by 9. Be sync keep off if you want to save FPS. If you keep this on, this will take a massive chunk out of your FPS. FPS limit, keep off. Widescreen letterbox, keep off. If you turn that on, it will add black bars to your screen. Field of view, I have mine on 88. I think anywhere between 80 and 90 is where you want to be. I'd experiment with this if I was you. The lower this is, the more zoomed in your image is going to be, but the less you're going to see around you. So the higher this is, the more you're going to see at your sides. But the main image that you're looking at is going to be zoomed out a lot more. Our display area, 100. Menu display area, 96. It doesn't really matter. Brightness, 53. Depends on the monitor because your monitor brightness could also be different as well. Graphics, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I've kept on. I have no clue what this is. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. I tried searching. I couldn't find anything. I keep this off. Overall quality is going to be custom because we're going to be changing the quality. Texture quality, mine is on medium. You can up this if you want, but my graphics card you can see down here is sort of getting a bit older. It's getting on a bit. And if I'm streaming or recording, that's going to take some FPS from me as well. Texture filtering. I've seen people have this on linear, but I've also seen people have this on 16 times. I honestly don't think this matters. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I just keep mine on eight times because um, I think the higher the better. I could be totally wrong here, but majority from what I've seen, keep this on as high as possible if you can. LOD quality, I have a medium. Again, you can up this if your graphics card can handle more pressure. Shading, keep on medium, not important. Shadow, however, quite important. Keep this on medium or higher. Anything lower than medium, you're not going to be able to see player shadows, which is very important if you're holding an angle and a player starts to push that angle that you're holding some cases on some maps you see that shadow first which kind of guarantees you a kill since you're expecting them so yeah keep that on medium or higher reflection low it doesn't matter vfx vfx low doesn't matter ambient occlusion off 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 keep this on zero render scaling i have 100 um if you want more fps put it on 50 i would say as you can see here on the side it says lower resolutions can drastically improve your frame rate so if you can afford it put it on 100 if you can't i'd say 50 and taa sharpness keep on 50. So controls, raw input off. There's a lot of issues with raw input at the start of every season. There's bugs with it. So it's not worth it. Keep it off. Or if you're determined, keep it on. I don't care what you do. Mouse or conversion disabled. My mouse sense, I've got 1313. It was 11. Every now and then I have a little tweak. This will be different as well, depending on your DPI. So the DPI, if you don't know, is the setting on your mouse. Mine is 800 DPI. Some people have 400. Some people have 1600. The low the DPI, the more it's going to take to drag your mouse across the mouse map for the cursor to move. The higher the DPI means your mouse cursor is going to move a lot more quicker with minimal effort. So again, it depends if you're playing with like moving your arm or just your wrist. If you're playing with just your wrist, you'd probably want a higher sense or higher DPI. But if you prefer playing with just your whole arm, then lower DPI. To me, I find that the lower the sense, the more control you have over guns and recoil. Mouse ADS, I don't think I've changed at all. I think this is all DPI. Default. Here is my settings if you want to use them anyway. Mouse scroll I've kept enabled. It just means you can change weapon with your will. Gadget deployment on advanced. Drone deployment on advanced. Drone deployment I find quite important because what this does 
is if it's on default, then when you put your drone down, you will automatically go into that drone, which isn't helpful if you throw your drone down and the defender's right next to it. So he could just run out and kill you. Keeping this on advanced gives you that option. If you're going to throw the drone down, you can wait a couple of seconds, see if anyone's going to push you. You can use it as bait in a way. Aim, I have on the hold. Some people like toggle. Lean, I've got toggle, sprint, hold, crouch, toggle, prone, toggle, walk, hold. And as we get into the key binds, my push to talk is caps. Um, I just find caps is a lot closer to where my fingers are playing, basically, and still kind of out the way at the same time. I know that the default is like you for push to talk, which is kind of out of the way, inconvenient if you want to talk to your team mate which is very important in a game like this so as we scroll down these are all default as well except crouch i've changed mine to control i just find it so much closer i use my pinky for crouch and then it gives me the option to use you know the, the main three fingers to you know wasd and lean as well prone is on c it's kind of out of the way but still close it's not very commonly that you will be proning but still you will find yourself in need of using that prone my walk is on alt the rest on default here except melee i've changed to mouse wheel primary gadget i've put on mouse button four secondary mouse button five if you don't know what these are these are basically wait my cam's gone dark so the mouse buttons are basically these on the side here this one will be my mouse button four this one will be my mouse button five so as i play my thumb is using the primary and secondary gadgets and then the rest are all default controller options are all default i don't play with a controller since i'm on pc unless i want to get absolutely clapped Moving on to the privacy tab, kind of a quick one. Um, I have both off. There will be more options in the next season with the streamer mode. Moving on to the last and final tab, accessibility custom. And for my optic color, I choose turquoise. Everyone I know has a different color. So this is all up to you here. I would recommend staying away from white or black because these kind of blend into the environments. So try and go for a color that stands out. And this I've kept on 95 because it adds a bit of transparency to the optic, which means you can Sort of see through it team color blue enemy color red doesn't matter you can have it orange you can have it blue it's all up to you i'm a rapper next m m and then these are still on default chat scale 100 you can turn that up if you are a little bit blind and there we are that's my settings um if you want to know anything more maybe my gear or whatever or i can go more into mouse settings do let me know um but i know a lot of people aren't going to find that really interesting so so yeah i hope this video has helped you i hope you have like a, a basic um template a foundation for you to use now if you're new i hope this does help let me know in the comments and remember to leave a like and subscribe as well thanks for watching